So I'm gonna show you how to replace a bumper from bumper on a Nissan Rogue 2008. So I'm already working on this side. So all you have to do is to take out this head 10, which is right there. I took it out and I just put it back so I can lose it. Uh, three, uh, three little screws right here on the bottom. Right there. Attaches to this one. This one came already loose. So you just take all the clips right here on this side and on the other side too. And, um, and take this one out too. This one right here. And that one right there too. And this one too, so then you have a little bit of plate to remove this out, this side of the uh, bumper. So once you're here, reach underneath here, you can plug your, your fog lights, if your car has fog lights. So I already did it, so I just, you see this little clip there, just push and then just tighten it. So then when the bumper comes out, you don't, it's not attached to anything. And then from here, just uh, wake your wake around. So on this side of the bumper, it has no, uh, no clips, all these little squares. They go into these little groups right there. If I can see right there. There's three. One, two, three. And then there's nothing here. And then from here, take all these clips right here. There are trees, but I think this one is missing here. So there's four, and there is four right here too. And uh, and then just wait you wait around. The same thing here. Just do the same thing. Take all those clips. <coughs> just right there. That one right there, and that one right there, and then underneath the three clips, uh, screws that I was talking about earlier, and then just pull out this thing, and the bumper should be able to come out. Uh, you can use a screwdriver, or or you can use uh, this special tool. Okay. Makes it easier. Afraid, don't be afraid to break them because a lot of, most of the time they're, they will break because they're so brittle already so let me take the bumper out and then I'll show you what's next so one of the main reasons I'm replacing this bumper is because as you can see I was gonna fix it but the customer she decided not to fix it we just bought a new one aftermarket came pre uh, painted already from uh, online and um, so anyways I took all this the 10 the 3 on the bottom this 4 4 right here the 10 which is down here that goes right there and that little clip to give me a little bit of play here and the three on the bottom, the three little screws right there, and this on the bottom right here. And just kind of, you see, it's coming out. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna start recording so then I can show you. Um, I can use my other hand, I mean, and uh, finish taking this bumper out. Don't forget to unplug the fog light on this side too as well as the way I did it on the other side and uh, to be able to take out the bumper. As you can see the bumper is out. So all you need to do now is get a new bumper and you're gonna have to transfer the fog lights onto the next one, the new bumper, that one too right there. And which you only hold it on uh, three tens, one two three just take the whole assembly out and just place it on the new bumper and uh, and you have to transfer this little shield to the new one 
you can put it uh, uh, once the bumper is on the car you can put it on or you can just put it right now it doesn't matter but it's better I think to put it the last so I'm gonna take one two three four five six six uh, clips that are holding this and I'll show you what's next so I already took off the three tens right there one two three so we just lift it up and that's what your fog light sits on I'm gonna go ahead and take that one out too and I'm gonna take this two four for the Nissan um, um, lug so then I can transfer that one onto the new bump so once you take out the three tens just simply lift up the fog light and then you have to transfer this uh, bracket plastic bracket um, it has this little clip for the, the bolt and this uh, little bracket too that hooks right here so just screw it like the screw, just pry with the screwdriver there and just take it out and just transfer those two little uh, clips on onto the new bumper and just reassemble everything back in back order so as you can see as you can see guys um, I already uh, transferred the clips right here from the old bumper the new one that one right there put that one right there too just simply get your bracket lighten up line line it up map and just simply um you see right this one should be sitting So once you line up to your uh, your uh, bracket, just put your uh, fog light. Let's see, it should go this way. Okay. So as you can see, I replaced this bracket transfer. I mean, and this one right there to the bottom. Um, just line up your little. Uh, uh, plastic uh, uh, clip right here put that one make sure they go inside and uh, make sure this one clicks and uh, this one lights up right here so that just simply uh, put your headlamp like put light in and then just go ahead and put your tens and one over right here and just simply next one and I'm gonna take the Nissan log uh, 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 emblem to transfer on this one as you can see I transferred the fog lights already on the next bumper new bumper right there so I'm just gonna go ahead and take this horse four tens and this little clip right there you see Better put it that way so that both can come out. I'm to take this, put it that way, transfer to the next one. Ok, 
Okay, I took out the four bolts that are holding this uh, Nissan emblem, and then I'm gonna transfer this to a uh, little mesh right here. So this one is being held by one clip right here, and this thing comes out. Put it on the side, and then work on the next one. Take it out. Take this piece out and then transfer this first on the other side and then do everything in, in the reverse order. So after you take these two uh, um, mesh out, then the next thing is to take this thing out, the Nissan right here. So all you have to do is just go ahead and dry out same here and this thing should be coming out same right there Nissan and then I'm gonna go ahead and finish uh, you see right there is one right there In fact, you didn't have to take this emblem out because the whole thing comes out, but no biggies. You can always put it back right away. See right there? Voila. No need to take it out, but I did, which is no biggie. So. Just uh, I'm gonna go ahead and transfer all of this crap on, on to the next one. Okay. So here's the new one. Towels, I mean, and one right there where my finger is showing, <laughs> so it goes right there, right there, right there. Okay, Just make sure they. Flash and then you uh, grills, whatever it is passing on the back, it should be holding tight in place. This, uh, this thing, okay. So, as you can see, guys, I already transferred one of the mesh right here. See right there, two tens, and the little clip right there. And um, go ahead and see. Uh, the other one right here and just simply like line up these square things with the bucket right there and then simply just uh, put your uh, the tents two
and then you clip the statues right here in the corner. Things like that. At this point, I'm pretty much uh, done transferring everything, which is uh, the fog lights, brackets, these uh, two pieces, and the emblem. I'm just tying up these four tens. Just snag them. You don't want to use power tools on these kind of jobs. And uh, just put your clip right there. On the other side, so this is pretty much good to go. So I'm gonna show you how it looks on the front. Okay, so you said lights with that, I mean, for lights. Emperor. Flash, nice, and so it's pretty much good to go on the car. Okay, guys, I'm gonna show you how to uh, line up the bumper once you're done transfer transferring all the parts from the old bumper to the new one. So the tricky part is right here. Uh, I don't know if you can see, let me show you, this plastic uh, brackets right here, this one they had to line up with a little gap right there, so they had to kind of like slide on top of this, so then, so then the bumper sits on the top uh, and it lights, line, lines up uh, like nicely one on this side and one on the other side I don't know if I can show you you can see it right there part right here I have to line up with this this little cap right there and it sits on and it sits on top of this all right and then once you're done just line up your bolts right there you see this this one with that one right there that one with that one and this one uh, right there okay okay guys I'm almost halfway there to finish uh, uh, replacing the bumper now just line up all your little uh, clips right there uh, get yourself some of these clips right here universal and they come in different sizes um, so then you can put new ones here because most of the time they break because they're so brittle uh, just get yourself some of the new ones this whole thing cost me like I would say about like 20, 10, 10 bucks I think I don't remember exactly and um, so the tricky part was right here this um, there is a bolt right here was lining up so then um, had to do some pounding here so we're not gonna fix this this is a quick fix only just replacing the bumper but we're not gonna fix this thing um, so line up your, um, your bumper and just uh, the little lips on, on your new bumper and just push that way so then pretty much snaps in place you see you see a little little tiny bump right there is because the bumper came it's after marking bumper and it came in a little box so it came kind of like bent so then i had to straighten straighten up uh, this bumper pretty much i had to use my heat gun to pretty much like take it back to its normal shape so but so far it's looking good everything matches you see just put the clips right there I already snap everything in place here I just need to line up the 
Let me put the ball right there. Ten. And um, don't forget to put your license plate again. Uh, of course. Uh, just draw uh, to uh, just measure how much uh, space you have to draw the, the holes for the new uh, for the license plate. I mean, and then just uh, drill a small uh, hole and then just put them on. And um, also, don't forget to plug your uh, your fog lights before uh, put in the bumper. And as you can see, I still need to put this little shield on the bottom and the license plate, of course. And I should be pretty much done. Okay, guys, um, I'm pretty much done. Putting everything in place, all the clips. Four, and then I secure the one to the ten right here. And that one right there, put a new one right there. And what I did, I went down here. I secure the bumper right here. One, two, three. I have to use kind of this tool. And, um, and then from there, I'm just gonna go ahead and put the lip, this cover right here, the splash shield, right here on the, <coughs> on the bottom. So it goes, it goes like that. Flash in the corner right there. Right there. So I just put your clips right there. One, two, three, four, five, six. And it has a few more right here, which is one there, one there, one there, and a few more on the other side, which is the other three of them. <coughs> so I'm just gonna go ahead and put those clips on. So this is the final work. I replaced a bunch of uh, clips that they were missing. And as you can see, everything is tight and secure. To the cap. Very nice. And this size. Beautiful. So, I have time to show you, but this is already done here. Let's see, on the bottom, just secure your three screws right here. Two, three. And just pull your clips right here all the way around. See. Everything is secure. And looks pretty good to me. So at this point I'm pretty much done. I just need to put the license plate on top on the front. And I should be done. And of course I need to put the wheel on. So I'm just gonna do some touch up in there so it doesn't look too bad. And I'm gonna buff the lights too so then and the hood and the fenders so i'm gonna use my buffer so then it kind of blends the new bumper with the with the old uh, paint okay so if you have any questions uh, let me know i might be able to help you out get yourself one of those kits i already showed you before they're very helpful there's different sizes so you you will need it if you have to replace your bumper uh, by yourself. Cool. So here is the bumper already assembled. This is how it looks like. I don't know if you guys remember this little uh, fender was opened. I did a little bit of touch up with a with brush. And 
Tawag na yung papalot sa atin. It's a little bit darker, but okay, no big deal. Uh, depends on the sh on the angle you look at it. So everything up came up pretty good. I polished uh, the fenders and the hood, so then kind of blends the the colors. Gotta wash the car too. So pretty much done now. So thanks for watching. Subscribe. This is the other one too. I'll beat up. If you have any questions, guys, let me know. Might be able to help you out. So on the other, the aftermarket I put on my on the car, I had to drill two holes to put the license plate to. But other than that, it's pretty basic. Simple job. Alright, thanks. Bye bye.